week in, week out, prophesying the return of the Most High and His Heavenly Son. All praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash, double honors to the apostles out in Europe, great <coughs> notes down to GMS, honors to all Akim around the planet, lifting up the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. Um, this is Brother Uriah and uh, Natazakia. And um, we're here from Great Millstone, Chicago, with another lesson. As you see in the title, it says, um, A mass influx of confusion of face will be coming, happening soon. Okay? I was watching Apostle uh, Ramla's video the other day, and it was a different title. I forgot what the original title was, but we ended up, uh, through the Spirit, going into the conf uh, confusion of faces. Give me Revelations, the seventh chapter, about Khan. Khan. Um, starting about verse four or five or something where we read down and go to the he, what did John see he saw Khan. Uh, go ahead. Uh, this is Revelation 7 and 9 after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands okay so the white robes <laughs> means that they're righteous and have palms in their hand. These mean that they're going to be saved and delivered, and that they were delivered by Yahweh Yahweh Shai. But he said, "Now we go, but read it again. They look at how many were, they came. Look like they came from all the nations." It says, um, "Revelation seven and nine. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, and kindreds, and people, and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb." clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. So now you would think that that's talking about every anybody on the planet. See, anybody can make it. You got it. You're going to have a, uh, 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 you're going to have Chinese people in the kingdom. You're going to have everybody. God love it. You open it up to every. You hear all the, God yeah. to love the world. And that's bullshit. Because you, I got a scripture here in Lamentations <laughs> 1 and 10. The adversary has spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things. For she has seen that the heathen entered into her sanctuary, whom thou didst command that they should not enter into thy congregation. So wait a minute. The Lord just said that the heathen shouldn't enter into the congregation. But here in Revelation, it looks like a whole bunch of people from every nation in, uh, uh, in the kingdom. So how do you reconcile that? How do you find the truth? The Lord says he's not going to allow that to happen. Give me a, you're looking for some, I'll, I'll quote it. Matter of fact, I'll get it. This is Malachi three and six the most high doesn't change all right so if he says uh, they're not going to enter into the congregation malachi three and six for i am the lord i change not therefore you sons of jacob you seed and children of israel are not consumed we are still going to be the only ones in the kingdom um Deut deuteronomy 33 and uh i think uh 28 um to my knowledge it could be 32 28 let me double check yeah no it's 33 28 um, says this Israel then shall dwell in safety alone the fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine and also his heaven shall drop down dew so the most High just said it right there Israel's going to dwell in safety alone okay so there's not going to be Chinese people as residents and heirs in the kingdom if they're going to be in the <coughs> excuse me in the kingdom it's going to be as a washing pot because the Lord said in Psalms that Moab shall be thy washing pot. So guess what? Mm -hmm. They're going to be part of the servants inside the kingdom. They're going to be, I'll have me some uh, Moabites cleaning shit. I'll have me some Ammonites you know, in there. I'll have me some different other nations that I choose to be uh, servants, man. And I'm also going to have heathen overseers over the Edomites, man. I'm going to come walk down my uh, plantation, Yahweh Radazah, and kick some ass once in a while because that's what we're going to do. All right, yeah. we got to pay back. I want to go and oversee and see, you know, you know how things are doing and get an occasional beat down. You know, uh, I want I need to occasionally beat down an Edomite here or there. But we're going to have heathens doing that, and that's in the scriptures. All right, go ahead. Yes, I got, I got two for you. Um, this uh, and the, um, you know, you, you read the, the Malachi uh, 3 and 6, and it said mm -hmm. that the uh, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai doesn't change. And it says in Amos uh, uh, 3 and 1 here, it says, Hear this word. That the Lord Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families right. of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Let's go ahead and break it down. Huh? Yeah, so basically the Lord is only dealing with the uh, the children of Israel. That's it. All right? Simple as that. That's right. And it says in Psalms, what was it, 147? I think 19 and 20. Uh, yeah. It talks about how... Uh, um, 
that the Lord uh, shows it. his work. Huh. And while you're getting that, I'll read Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 30. All right, this is Deuteronomy 30 and 1. And it should come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee. And we got the blessing when we first came into Israel. And the Lord gave us everything. Then what did we do? We started cheating on the Lord, worshiping false gods, doing all kind of wicked ass shit. And so what did the Lord do? He kicked us out. All right, and he kicked us out and we went under the curses and we've been out ever since. He says, which I have set before thee and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. So we're the Israelites now. We're among all the, the damn nations out there. And now how we're living among the goddamn nations, man. We're at the bottom. We're going through the curses. We're getting um, treated like shit. All right. Whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. And shalt return unto the Lord thy power. Thou shalt obey his voice. Those who are listening to his voice now. Following the law, statutes, commandments. Listening to the elders and the apostles. And getting grown and groomed in the faith. All right. Um, this, uh, that I command thee this day. Thou and thy children with all thine heart or your mind. And all your soul. That then the Lord thy power will turn. Means return. Make it. Uh, he's going to free you. Thy captivity. And have compassion upon thee, and return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God has scattered thee. If there be any driven out unto the utmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee from thence, and he will fetch thee. So, and wait one more, then the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed Israel, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. So that's in Revelations, proving what that Revelations is. He, we were scattered amongst all the lands. Mm -hmm. Now, what did Jake do best? Well, he's around, they're toiling. All you gotta do is read Exodus, the first chapter. They, 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 they increase taxes and they beat us and they hurt us more. We fuck more. <laughs> we have sex more. We procreate more. However you want to say it, and we have more chillings. Okay. And what happens? Who we, who do we have them with? Jake and who else? Whoever's around. Yep. All right. So she's Chinese. She's Vietnamese. She white. She uh, so-called East Indian, Ethiopian, uh, whoever. We get it in. So then what happens after we get it in with all these different people? We got the, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, the basketball player. Blake Griffin. We got the Blake Griffins come yeah. up. Conor you McGregor's. Get, you get the Conor McGregor's. All right. You get the uh, Tyson with his old, his uh, um, slanted eyes. All mm -hmm. right. You get the um, Tiger Wu. All Bruce right. Lee. You get the Bruce Lee's. You get these confusion yeah. of faces because they have the Israelite seed in the blood. You got the one dude from Thailand who Zabak and them said, no, nah, you're a heathen. But he had all he had the cock to the side, he had the slant. He had the, the whole uh, Israelite spirit and vibration, just like you watch a little show and you see a little, you know, Chinese guy and doing a little group. Ooh, da da do, da do, like man, man that motherfucker yeah. could sing because it's an Israelite. It, you got in uh, Long Beach, in uh, Long Beach, California, you have these uh, L.A. Crips, and they're all uh, Cambodians, man. Right. And they're all Jake. Mm-hmm. You know. That's right. Because uh, you had a uh, Jake out there, you know, during the wars and all that, uh, uh, spreading their seed out there, man. That's right. You know. Yeah. And that's and that's that multitude of Israelites that's mixed and mingled amongst the nations and looking like the nations. And those who those were the Gentile minded people that the Lord had to come save. I know you got to appreciate yep, uh, this is Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. So if he ain't dealt so with any nation, how are they going to be in the kingdom when he said they would not ever enter into his congregation? Yep. That's how you reconcile, okay, then those people that stand in him that's out of every other nation means those are Israelites that were scattered abroad and he's brought them out of the goddamn nations. That's right. That's simple. Go ahead. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. The heathen don't know the judgments of the Lord. So how can they come into the knowledge of the truth then? How can they be saved if they don't know the judgments of the Lord? Because you go to Ephesians, the first chapter. As a matter of fact, go to Ephesians 1 and verse uh, uh, 11. All right. Let's, let's see. Well, how? What's the process of being saved, man? If you you had to understand the judgment of the Lord to be saved, otherwise you wouldn't have know what you, you wouldn't know how to get there. All right. This is a uh, Ephesians one in a. Did you say eleven? Yeah, one and ten, one eleven. Okay. Um, this is Ephesians chapter one. And uh, um, I'll start at uh, Ephesians one in ten. Yeah, I'll start at ten. That in the uh. The, the, dispensation. Ephesians 1 and 10. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, 
He so might, when the Lord says after uh, this is in the, the administration and the dispensation, the fullness of time. All right, go ahead. Um, and it this says, is the, until the Lord returns, this is what's going to happen. Go ahead. It says he might gather together in one all things in, in Yahweh Shai. So he's gathering all those. This is why we're waiting on the Lord. He's gathering all the things, all the sons, all the daughters of the hopeful righteous elect. That's going to be that multitude standing before him with those white robes and them palms. Go ahead. And it says, um, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance and the, and that and only way you gain gain an inheritance if you're part of the bloodline. I can't go to the Chinese people and say, "Can I go ahead and get some of your land and some of your inheritance?" They gonna look at me like I'm crazy. All right. So you're not gonna get Israel's inheritance, Esau, or you other damn nations. Go ahead. And it says, "Being predestinated according to the purpose of Him who worketh all things after the counsel of His own will, and that we should be to the praise of Him." Uh, that we should be to the praise of his glory who trusted in Yahweh Shai. And we're the ones who trusted in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechak Kodash, man. In the name and in the doctrine that he sent forth through the apostles and elders, man. Period. Go ahead. And in verse 13, it says, In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth. So how are you going to trust after you hear the word of truth? That means you have to have righteous judgment to know that this is the truth. If you don't have righteous judgment, you will think this is bullshit. You resist it and you'll run with and be against it. Yahweh Shai said, he that is not with me is against me. Yeah. He that is with me, they're there for us, you know. So if you're with us, then you got to be an Israelite. If you're against us, you got to be the heathen. Go ahead. It says, um, uh, in whom ye also trusted after the after ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. And only one's supposed to be saved. He said, O men of Israel, hear these words. Huh. Right, you only have I known of all nations on the planet. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. All right, go ahead. Kind of says that ye believe in, in whom also, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. That's right, and that's how we got sealed. That's how we got uh, we, the Lord start building this up. And if you read read on, it, uh, it was going to the down payment, which is the Holy Ghost that He gives us that builds us up in this faith. That only that only comes to the righteous Israelites, okay. So if you get if you're getting saved, if you're getting salvation, it's because you're an Israelite, all right. No matter what you look like, that's why he told uh, um, Cornelius, uh, Peter, to accept Cornelius, okay. You got anything else? Yeah, I got a uh, Second Ezra chapter three, and um, I'm gonna start at thirty-two, or I'll start at thirty-one. I do not remember how this may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? Or is there any other people that knoweth thee besides Israel? Or what generations hath so believed thy right. coven covenants as Jacob? That's right. And yet their reward appeareth not, and their labor hath not fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth, and think not upon thy commandments. They, they, they jet set all over the earth. They run in the earth and they're running it to the ground. And they're vexing the Israelites. The Chinese are vexing the Israelites. The uh, uh, Every damn nation that we're scattered abroad, that we're at the bottom of the totem pole. All right, go ahead. Verse 34, weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance and, and there is also that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. So the only way oh, people who can get saved is the Israelites. That's how you know that great multitude. And now do we see that great multitude now when we go to the different camps and we look? No. We have maybe a brother or two in some camps that might be a confusion of face like the brother I have right here. <laughs> All right. But then you're going to have brothers that don't look like, you know, you're going to have brothers that I'm looking for the Chinese looking brother. Yeah. I'm looking for the God. Japanese looking brother. I'm looking for the Aboriginal looking brother, the, uh, Arab. the, the Arab looking brother. And that's what's about to start happening. We're going to uh -huh. see it come on a greater scale and on a more higher vibration because that's what's happening. Just the same way that we were hoping that we see the Northern Kingdom, yeah. you know, <laughs> uh, and, and the Lord has started giving us the Northern Kingdom. All right. But it was years ago by that we were looking for it and we're praying to the Lord to wake them up. And then he did. So that's the same thing he's going to do with the confusion of faces. A little bit more on that because then yeah. we're going to wrap it up. Um, more yeah, there's just uh, two more uh, mm -hmm. verses. It says, or when was it that would... So I can read that again. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? That's right. Or what people had so kept thy commandments? That's right. 
thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. That's right. So the heathen is, is no way they can keep the precepts, <laughs> no way they can get the judgment, no way they can find their way into the truth or enter into the congregation. Therefore, those people standing in Revelations was talking about Israelites yeah. and they looked and like other parts of the nations so that mm -hmm. means there's going to be a great influx and they're going to go and and it's going to be proven that we're not about the outward appearance like the lord says judge not on the outward appearance but the inner man all right because uh, the most high look was not on the outward appearance but on the inside so that's what the lord is going to show and prove that that's what we're dealing with um i got uh obadiah 1 and 11 and the day that thou stood to talk about Esau, and the day that Esau stood on the other side, and the day that the strangers, real heathens, carried away captive his forces, the Israelites, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou wast as one of them. But thou shouldest not look on the day of thy brother, and now they got carried away captive, remember this, thou shouldest not look on the day of thy brother who was carried away captive, and the day that he became a stranger, why? Because he was carried away captive into another land, learn new languages, learn new ways, learn new cultures, learn new habits, dealt with different bitches, dealt with different heathens, and started producing children. And the, Nehemiah, the 13th chapter, will tell you they were raising up these children by these heathens, learning different languages, learning different customs, and not the customs of the Israelites, which is against the law, the statute, of commandments of the Most High. But the Most High is waking us up out of all the lands that he's gathered us to. And that's called producing the confusion of faces. And that's why we're going to have an influx of people who don't look like Israelites. So you can't judge by the outward appearance. We have to judge by the spirit. Yeah. And if they can match up the spirit and call on the name of Yahweh, <laughs> Bahashim Yahweh Shai, come out and do the <laughs> learning and do it. all the same things we've done to get into faith. Reading, praying, watching videos, getting built up, getting fucked up by messing things up, and you know, making mistakes. And the just man falls seven times, get back up and walk again. All right. All the same things that we're going through. Then that proves that they're an Israelite. God. All right. Um, Brothers had a couple of precepts on here, Daniel 9 and 7. O Lord, righteousness be glowing within to thee, but unto us confusion of faces, which really means shame face. But all Israel was shame face. Yeah. All right? And one of the greatest shames is not looking like an Israelite. Mm -hmm. All right? Because right. you'll be pine and wish I was. I'm, I'm light skinned, and I wish I was dark skinned like I was shy, man. And I ain't even light skinned, I'm brown skinned. All right? But then you got the light skinned and brown skilled brothers looking at dumb dark skinned brothers and images of the Lord. I'm like, damn, I can't wait till I get my color back. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I want to look like my papa. I'm going to be stunning like my daddy. Uh -huh. All right? But we get, that's a shame that we don't know our heritage. It's a shame we don't know our culture. All right? And that's called confusion of face, man. All right? At, as at this day, to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to all Israel that are near and are far off. Through all the countries which thou hast driven them because of the trespass which they trespassed against thee. All right. Uh, Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Esther 10 and 10. Therefore he hath made two lots. One for the people of God and another for all the Gentiles. All right. Um, we have a man. This is a bunch of scriptures. But I got to We have to break it down because he's got to go and I got to take a brother to work. But um. Uh, I'll end with this one, this last one, uh, Revelations 11 and 2, 1 and 2. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. That's the Israelites who are, uh, who are actual Israelites. But the court which is out, which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not. What is given unto the Gentiles? And the holy city shall they tread underfoot. 40 and two months. It's a separation between the heathens and the real Israelites. The Lord is not dealing with the heathens. Come He's on. only dealing with the Israelites. All right. So if they got palms, they had robes and they're sitting with their in the temple. That means they are Israelites. Come. All right. That might not look because now if we went back to Revelations, he said uh, he asked John, who are these? Yeah. He said, I, 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 you know, yeah. <laughs> he said the best answer he's like, oh, you know who they are. You know what I'm saying? How could he not know who they are when he's an Israelite? If they were, you know your brothers when you look at them, you like, what well, the niggas, what's up? You know what I'm saying? What are those Israelites? What's up? You know? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna hit that real quick. I'm gonna go back to Revelation where we started. And this is we're gonna end on this one. Um I can get it. I got it. Okay, come uh, on. <clears throat> uh it's like seven and like maybe try thirteen. Uh Right, they're 13. And one of the elders answered and said unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? Where did they come from? 
And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. <laughs> and he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and are made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So he's like, if he can recognize them and let you know, it's because they, they, they didn't look like Israelites. But they were Israelites. So hopefully you can receive that. If not, fuck you. And if you can, bless you. <laughs> it's as simple, all right? May the Lord wake up the righteous elect and to the knowledge, and may the Lord continue to blind the wicked. So, in the name of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shai, Bashir, Rakak, Kodash, the water for tuning in with us. Oh, wow, 14 and 4, 444. <laughs> I just changed. <laughs> um, the water for tuning in, and may this been, hopefully, this was edifying to you all through the, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shai. By Shimra Kakodash, double honors to the apostles out in New York, a great millstone, and honors to all Akim around the planet. Lifting up the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity, we're going to say Shalom, Shalom, Ababa Ba.